So is this what Thursday nights are gonna be like? Because that was absolute chaos to begin with. Those German fans were turning up since 3 p.m. today. They started off with lots of circus, then they came down to the Emirates and took over. At that point, I thought Arsenal are gonna lose today. Just the sheer mentality of it all, to have all those fans 20,000 deep, taking over the timeline, taking over the world, taking over the Emirates, letting the whole world know that they have arrived in London and that they were coming to win. That's the vibe that I got. And I felt like if the players would see this, it's gonna ruin their already run down mentality that they have. So it wasn't looking too promising at all. Then it looked like the game wasn't about to start. It got pushed back an hour. So a 9 p.m. kickoff. Look at me, listen to my voice, I'm tired. It is Thursday night, bro. Join in. Shall we go in? Oh my God. This is terrible. Oh my God. I've never seen a this bad before. No, I never. I've never been this bad. I'm the right. And as if anything couldn't go even more wrong, when the starting lineup came out, I saw Awobi playing DM. What's going on there? I know we love to play players at position, but Awobi in DM? Since when, bro? What's going on? And then to top it off, Ospina, you get your chance. This is your league. This is what you do. And what do you do? You make the deadest clearance. You come way off of your line, out of your box to make the deadest clearance. And then th this next guy chips you from 39 yards out. <laughs> At that point I said, yep, the mentality is gone. They, 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 they outplayed us already. They know what they're doing. They're finished. I thought there was no coming back. It wasn't looking too promising. We had a fair few runs. I, I have to rate Giroud highly. I have to because every cross that came in, he got on top of it. The hold up play was brilliant. So the only chance I saw was coming from him in that first half. But then, Arsene Mega did his thing. He made the super sub. Our left back has scored for us again. The big man, Kalasinac. Come on, that is my guy. He comes on, 223 seconds on the pitch and he scores. He gets us leveled up. We're back in the game. Let's do this. Maitland Niles came close as well. I would have loved to see him finish. It would have been a perfect way to start off his Europa League campaign. I would have loved to see more youngsters start. I would have loved to see Reese Nelson start. Tuba Akpom get a run out. I would have preferred Tuba Akpom over Theo Walcott. Just saying. But forget all that. Let's talk about that second goal. Alexis turned up. That second goal was something out of this world. That was Alexis style. He chased down the ball. A lot of players would let it go out, go out of play, but he chased it down. He got it back on the wing. He came back into the field. There was no one there for him. So he went all the way and curved it in. What a dirty goal. That goal was dirty, dirty. And that's when I thought, yeah, we're going all the way. We're going to do this 3-1, 3-1. But little did I expect our third goal to come from one of, in my opinion, our underperforming players today. Hold tight, you Bellerin. You didn't have a great game today, but you got on the score sheet and you sealed the deal for us. 3-1 to see how the whole day unfolded with the fans, the German fans coming and stealing the show to, for them to us get the win. It was just picture perfect really. I couldn't ask for a better way <laughs> to start this European campaign. But in all seriousness, if it's gonna be like that every Thursday at the Emirates with riots, I'm not sure I could deal with that because I was meant to go to the game with Raphael today, but because of the late kickoff, I gave away my tickets and I'm kind of glad I did because looking at that footage, that boy would have got trampled on by the looks of it. I don't know how serious it was, but the videos that I've seen, it didn't look very child safety. Safe. Child. Friendly. Overall, decent performance. Um, hopefully in the next couple of Europa League games, we get to see more of the youngsters play. But let me know your thoughts on the game. Who was your man in the match? I'm going to go for the 20,000 Cologne fans. <laughs> No, in all seriousness, my man in the match, I don't know, it's a tough one. I know um, it doesn't seem like Giroud did a lot, but in my opinion it did. He was quality for me tonight. But just for that second goal alone, it has to go to Alexis Sanchez. But let me know who your man in the match was down below in the comments. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, yo. And I'll see you later on today <laughs> with a match preview for, oh my God, Chelsea v Arsenal, Stamford Bridge. I'm not looking forward to this one. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that. See you in a bit.